Let me introduce you to Jenny, a 57-year-old government worker, devoted mother of two, whose uh, life took a dramatic turn in the winter of 2019. While at work, Jane experienced uh, severe chest pain and shortness of breath. Concerned, she rushed to a local emergency room, only to be confronted with a diagnosis that would reshape her life, a heart attack, a myocardial infarction. Jane had a stent, a short wire mesh tube, placed in the main coronary artery. Now, the pivotal question arises, what steps can Jane take in the aftermath of a heart attack beyond the procedures and medications? And how can lifestyle medicine, and in particular exercise, play a vital role in her recovery? Let's delve into the intricate world of post-heart attack exercise and its profound impact on Jane's arteries. What exercise will do to Jane after her heart attack? Five benefits. Let's start with plaque regression. Can Jane unclog her arteries with exercise? Can she reverse the plaque buildup in her coronary arteries? Rewind 20 years and groundbreaking studies such as the Lifestyle Heart Trial and the Heidelberg Regression Study were already paving the way for a revolutionary understanding of exercise impact on arterial health. Not just halting the progression of plaque buildup, but about actually regressing it. And consider a lifestyle heart trial conducted by Dr. Dean Ornish, which not only underscored the significance of a plant-based diet, but also emphasized stress management and exercise, including about three hours a week with a focus on yoga. And the outcome after one year was not only a reduction in symptoms and events, but also a tangible decrease in uh, plaque uh, size. And this was using the technology we had at that time, the, the old-fashioned coronary angiogram. But uh, this trial was published in 98 in June of the American Medical Association. It was Years later, the Heidelberg regression study was published, and a decade later, on January 2010, Medicare approved the Ornish program, also known as Intensive Cardiac Rehab, for specific populations, including not only people who had a heart attack, but people who had coronary bypass surgery, who had a stent even without a heart attack. And just last year, a study from the Norwegian University of Science and Technology published a, a study that showed that, in fact, high-intensity interval training could yield results comparable to statins in reducing the plaque volume. And imagine after six months of uh, supervised high-intensity interval training, the percent of atroma plaque, the volume decreased by 1.2 percent, replicating the reduction achieved with cholesterol-lowering statins. So why is this significant? What's the big deal? Did I say a reduction 1.2 percent? Yes. And the significant is we know the 1 percent reduction in plaque volume, as demonstrated by various lipid trials with statins, correlates with a substantial 20 percent reduction in major cardiovascular events, in heart attacks strokes and death. While the study focused on individuals with coronary artery disease who had a stent placed, it's most likely applicable to anybody who undergoes high intensity interval training even without overt uh, coronary artery disease. And uh, there's some limitations to the study because it was an intensive program. It was uh, highly supervised. What are the limitations of the study? The limitations of the study is, the, in fact, was a high-intensity uh, exercise program. It was highly supervised. However, again, demonstrates one more time the concept that exercise can actually shrink the plaque in your coronary arteries. And the awareness that atherosclerosis is a silent killer lurking in your arterial walls uh, start early and progress over the case is not new. But the critical question is, can Jane and others like her who had a heart attack start today and rip the benefits? 
Exercise, however, does more than affect plaque buildup in Jane's arteries. And let's look at cardiac preconditioning, a very fascinating uh, phenomenon. In fact, the research has consistently highlighted a positive correlation between individuals who engage in regular exercise and their survival uh, rates after a heart attack. So if you exercise and you still have a heart attack, chances are you'll have a smaller infarct size. You'll have 30 to 40 percent less damage compared to non-exercisers. And exercise increases coronary collateral. So it's paving the way for natural bypasses. In fact, uh, exercise uh, increases the ability of collateral vessels supply blood to tissue downstream from the blockage. It's like the body's ingenious way of creating its own bypasses, a growth in both the length and diameter of collateral vessel. And exercise improves endothelial function. Just four weeks of regular exercise can double the coronary uh, blood flow. The endothelium, the inner lining of the blood vessels, plays a crucial role in regulating blood flow, and exercise seems to be its best ally. And in addition, exercise decreases platelet activation. If you have coronary artery disease, you may be taking a platelet inhibitor like aspirin or Plavix or Brilinto or Effian. Exercise is actually a natural platelet inhibitor, improving the platelet function and minimizing the risk of developing a clot. It's a subtle but potent way in which the exercise safeguards against catastrophic events. And here there's this captivating revelation. Exercise is really a magic pill. It doesn't just work wonders for your heart. And to unravel more about the holistic benefits of exercise, check out this video, The Magic Pill. I'll put a link above in the description below. And as for Jane, how can she kickstart her exercise program after her heart attack? Many patients are afraid of exercising after a heart attack. The most effective solution is to enroll in a cardiac rehab program. It's a structured, a monitored environment where your vital signs, the electrocardiogram, the, your heart rhythm are closely observed. And this controlled setup instills confidence in individuals, assuring them that exercise after heart attack is not only possible, but highly beneficial. And people who participate in the cardiac rehab after heart attack, but also we have data after a stent, after coronary bypass surgery, experience a 45% decrease in mortality over the next 10 years, compared to people who abstain. And despite the coverage provided by insurance, only 25% of people uh, who are on this category engage in cardiac rehab, highlighting a significant gap in leverage this powerful tool. What makes cardiac rehab so magical after a heart attack? Cardiac rehab transcends the boundaries of a mere exercise program. It's an education platform that delves into nutrition, into smoking cessation, uh, controlling your blood pressure, your cholesterol, uh, medication adherence, and more. It's a holistic approach aimed at empowering you uh, with the knowledge and the skills to navigate this post-heart attack journey successfully. What's next for Jane? Well, the story of Jane does not end here. In our upcoming videos, we will explore additional avenues and delve deeper into strategies and practices that can further enhance Jane's cardiovascular health. And always remember, your health, your most precious asset, take control. See you next video.